Hey everybody, welcome to Post the Post. My name's Neil, and you and I today are going to take a journey into some jersey concepts. I've ranked them. These are done by Nash North. I've ranked them 1 to 32. That's right, 32. There is a Seattle concept in here. It's pretty good. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Uh, so I've ranked them 1 to 32. We're going to throw them in reverse order, 32 to 1. If you want to take part in this series, come up with your own designs, uh, you know, Great 32, 31, 32, whatever you want to do, I will rank them. Uh, and it doesn't have to be NHL. If you want to do OHL, KHL, uh, QMJHL, whatever league that you would like to do, come up with a whole league uh, concept list, set, a whole set. Um, I will definitely rank them. I love seeing stuff from outside the NHL, but this video is NHL. So if you want to do an NHL video like this, come up with these concepts. You can go to sports templates. Dot net. Use code post to post save yourself 10%. Pick up this uh, template where you can drop it into Photoshop and really put your designs from your brain down on digital paper. Basically, you're kind of creating uh, your, your ideas. And as a hockey fan, we all sit and, and wonder what jerseys could look like. And this is the best tool to kind of give you that ability to put your ideas into uh, fruition and, and kind of come up with something of your own. And it's not just about the jerseys on the site. You can uh, design sweaters and footballs and hockey pucks and goalie masks and full uniform designs. And there are some awesome stuff coming as well. So like I said, sportstemplates.net. Use code post to post Save yourself 10% and come up with some designs for me to rank because I will definitely uh, rank them. I'm, I'm patiently waiting. I haven't asked broadly asked, but I'm patiently waiting for someone to design some goalie masks. I would love to rank those. So if that interests you, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll bump you up the list and I'll, I'll rank them uh, sooner rather than later. But in this video, we're talking NHL jersey concepts. Let's get going. 32 to 1, starting off with my least favorite, going to my favorite. Uh, pretty bold. <laughs> Very bold. I, I think this is conflicting in, in two ways. The orange and the purple conflict with me. Uh, they're fighting over the primary color here. There, are, there is more purple than there is orange. However, there is, it's like 60-40. And I think that's too much. I think it could be 70-30, but 60-40 is a little bit too close. I'm not sure if a two-tone jersey like this with two very prominent colors like uh, purple and like orange, I, I think I find they clash. That's kind of conflict number one. Conflict number two, is the logo being green uh, and the purple in the background. I th again, I find maybe those are a little bit too conflicting with the orange stroke as well. So I don't know if it, if it balances quite well here. I think if the bottom of the jersey wasn't orange, it was maybe black, or if it, if it was green, it would kind of balance with the stripes, balance with the logo a little bit more. Uh, I'm not quite sure. This is just a little bit too bold for me. Number 31, the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. So. This is kind of a representation of their third jersey that's just been altered a little bit with the colorization of the shoulders down uh, to the bottom of the sleeves. Usually I like when concept designers do this. I, I love teams that do that. I think it's Winnipeg that does that, that has a color that starts at the neck and then goes all the way down to the end of the arm. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. However, I think this is not as good as the current alternate jersey. I'll put it that way. Uh, number th or in 30th position, I had the Calgary Flames. To me, this was just a little bit too close to their actual, I guess, pre technically previous generation of jersey. Now they've moved on to the retro versions of their primaries, but this one was just uh, just a little bit too close to that previous version. Uh, still, still okay, but just something I've maybe seen seen a lot of or, or similar. Number 29, the Vancouver Canucks. This was a really good attempt at kind of meshing old and new with that new logo with the old colors. Uh, I've seen a couple of jersey concept creators do this, do it well. It's kind of hard to screw up because it would be really cool to see this jersey actually exist. I love the shoulder patch, but I think uh, the reason I ranked it where it is is because I've maybe just seen better versions of this kind of idea. Number 28, the Pittsburgh Penguins. So this is very close to the old Stadium Series jersey, which the P Pittsburgh Penguins brought back in Adidas, and uh, now it's considered their alternate. Love the numbers on the shoulder. They've got the or Nash North has kind of put like a, that bridge design in the back of the neck, which is which is cool. But again, maybe just a little bit too similar to something I've already seen. Number 27, the Philadelphia Flyers. So this is definitely different. Uh, my main issue here is the numbers on the sleeves. I find because they're black and because the, the backing stripe is also black, there's too much conflict. Uh, I maybe want to see those numbers up on the shoulders. I think that would be a, a nice balance to have those up there. Number 26, the Winnipeg Jets. This is uncommon. I usually don't rank the Winnipeg Jets down this far in my rankings, 
but I think it was the angle of the numbers on the arms and angle of the striping. I've seen the, that, that angle in this kind of generic design before, uh, or sorry, not generic, general design before, um, but I think the numbers being at the angle just makes my brain just go off tilt a little bit, so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure on this one. Number 25, the Minnesota Wild. Pretty good attempt. It's, it's too much red for me personally, though. I, I get super... Super Christmas vibes from this uh, when Minnesota uses red as their primary color. I know a lot of people like that. I know that I'm in, my, in the minority here, but it's just a little bit too Christmassy for me. I prefer when they use that dark green as their primary and then accent it with red um, at the most. Number 24, the Colorado Avalanche. E. Colorado does not get usually get ranked this low in my rankings either. However, I think it's the shoulders that kind of take away from me. Or take... What? I, th I think it's the shoulders... That maybe I don't like. I don't know what I was trying to say the first time, but uh, it, and you might think, well, Neil, the, your favorite jersey in the NHL is kind of a version of this that uses shoulders like that, but they're not white. And you're yes, you're you're not wrong. <laughs> you're right, but I it just doesn't work for for me here. I I can't explain it. I love the logo that he chose for the front. I think that looks really good, but uh, for whatever reason, the shoulders just aren't working for me. Maybe it's the striping. Maybe there's just a little bit too much going on. The stripe, the number, the the patch. On, on each side, maybe just, maybe too busy. 23, the New York Rangers. Um, I think the shade of blue and the shade of red are a little bit too aggressive. With the Liberty jersey, they're using a darker shade of blue, which is, is very complimentary to the red as well. I think this is, this the shade of blue here is too bright and it's it's in my face, it's, it's just a little bit too much. So for that reason, it is where it is. Number 22, the, um, Vegas Golden Knights. So this is kind of the version of the reverse retro, but with different striping along the bottom. I like this more than the reverse retro. So this, this was well done. I worry about the, the gold along the bottom, and it's hard to replicate that as a jersey concept designer. You're dealing with not you're dealing with not only a shade of color, but a texture as well. Not many jerseys in the NHL actually have a texture within a section. I think of the Tampa Bay Lightning with their alternate. They've got those little flakes and raindrops or whatever you want to define those as and then you've got uh, the Carolina Hurricanes and their alternate they almost have that wood grain pattern in, in the striping and then obviously Vegas with the you know the, the shimmer and the shine in there so it is very difficult to replicate that in a jersey in a jersey concept and uh, I sometimes I don't know if a designer is intended for that section that is gold down there to have that uh, texture or if he's intending, he or she is intending to just literally have that color. So it's it's difficult for me to judge it based on based on that because it is like I said, it's hard to put incorporate texture in there. But uh, it is better than the reverse retro. That's that's the, the the main statement here. Twenty one, the Washington Capitals. Very interesting pinstriping going down. It reminds me a lot of the Columbus Blue Jackets. To be completely honest with you, but. Hey, you know what? The Columbus Blue Jackets came out with a reverse retro look that looked very similar to uh, a couple of Capitals jerseys. So maybe this this concept is okay. Uh, Washington kicking back a little bit against Columbus. So Nash North, I, I like your take here, and I like your colorization on the shoulder patch as well. Uh, number 20, the Islanders. And I think a lot of people won't like this just because it is so different. But there's just something about it that I like, and I think it's that teal color in the background that brings me back to the Fisherman area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the logo in the front, I've never been really a fan of that, but it, it it's okay here because that N and the Y kind of fit within the line almost like on loose leaf when you're writing and there's those blue lines in the background. It makes my brain happy to see those letters within the two lines on the stripe. Uh, really insignificant thing, but uh, I'm weird like that. The numbers on the shoulders look great. Conflicting colors going on here. We got dark blue, we got orange, we got that teal color, and then a splash of white. So a lot of colors, but I still I still like it. I still like it. Number 19, the Detroit Red Wings. Love the back of the collar uh, and the Stanley Cups represented back there. The the Red Wings fans, and I hear it every video, every concept video, mostly hate. Every once in a while, there'll be a Red Wings jersey that they're like, oh, actually, I actually like that. That's rare, so I'm not actually sure. I'm never sure how Red Wings fans are going to react uh, to certain concepts. I personally like this. It's It's... It's modern, but it's also classic at the same time. They're using that D, which they've used in the past on previous alternate jerseys and specialty jerseys, winter classics, whatever. So I think it's acceptable. I'm just not sure what you guys are going to think as Red Wings fans. Please let me know down below. Number 18, the Columbus Blue Jackets. 
So I guess this is kind of a, re- a reverse retro of their alternate jersey, which was it, it, which, it's neat. It's neat to see that I've never even really thought about what that would look like if the colors were kind of inversed a little bit, uh, and using that off white as a primary color. Uh, I like it. I, I think it. I think it works, and I, I don't mind the shoulders here. Usually, shoulder yokes like that. I'm gonna, you know, that's a thumb down, thumbs down for me. Uh, that works. I like that. Number seventeen, the Arizona Coyotes. Kind of a a nice mix here of of past and then new modernization of the Kachina jersey, but kind of holding on to the roots of what they, I guess they technically don't use it as their uh, primary jersey at home anymore, even though it's technically their pr- primary home jersey, they're using it. <laughs> this is complicated. The Kachina jersey is they're using most often at home, but according to what I read online, uh, the team is not technically considering it to be their official home jersey. Their regular home jersey is still their official home jersey. They're just not using it as much. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is this is a really good combination of both of those. Uh, I like the outline of purple on the logo itself in the middle. I think that's a, a really nice touch. So I like this. This is this is pleasing the past and the present people, I think. Number 16, the LA Kings. That logo in the middle, I've never really been a huge fan of it, but I like, I like the addition of purple. Uh, I like the striping. I like the bottom of the sleeves being a different color, kind of keeping that gray in there, which typically I'm not really a fan of because it's so dull. But here it complements the logo very well. This is a very nicely balanced jersey in my opinion. Although I do not know what that shoulder patch is up there on the opposite side. It looks like a state flag, but obviously it's not California state flag. I just don't know what it is. Maybe it's the city of Los Angeles' flag. I'm not sure. Someone in the comments, please let me know. Number 15, the Florida Panthers. I really like these designs. This reminds me a, a bit of the, I think it was the city jerseys in the NBA Miami had. Love these colors. Uh, look at my background. They kind of even matches a little bit. Uh, so I, maybe just a bit too much black here. I want to see more of this color uh, splash in here. Maybe that stripe in the background. Maybe a gradient, because there's a gradient in the collar here. Who knows? Number 14, the Maple Leafs. This is so basic, but and, and I mean that in a, in, a, in a good way. Respectful striping, small numbers, small C, simple logo, no shoulder patches, no different neck design, just a straight up simple classic jersey, very clean. And I like this. If, if Tampa had something completely different, this would be a really good individual jersey in the NHL. Number 13, the... The Devils, and I think I'm going to be in the minority here as well. But I like, I like seeing concepts for New Jersey be using black as the primary color, and then the secondary color here isn't red; it's actually green. And I, I don't know why this isn't something that I would think of. You know what? I'm going to make a Devils jersey, and I'm going to make the the main color black, and the and the second main color uh, green, and then use red. That's not something my brain would even think about doing. But Nash North did, and I kind of like it. It's just different. Uh, there's no other jersey that's, I think, ever been used in the NHL like this, or maybe in any other league that I can think of. So just because it's different, I, I like it. Number 12, the Emson Oilers. This was really cool, and I know that, again, I'm in the minority here. Most people don't like this oil cog design uh, from the mid-2000s or the early 2000s. That's I was in high school at that point and watching a lot of hockey, so I'm very nostalgic when it comes to this jersey or this kind of era of the Edmonton Oilers. So I like to see this stuff. I know most of you don't, but uh, I think this is so well done. This is one of the best Edmonton Oilers concepts that I've seen. I absolutely love it. Um, This to me is their kind of own identity and I I like that. Number 11, the Montreal Canadiens. So my favorite team. Just something totally different. I've seen, you know, concepts similar, but I like this one. I think the stroke around the logo in the middle, the fact that it dips down into the blue and above into the red uh, is a nice little subtle touch because the striping on the top of the white in the background meets the edge of the front of the logo and then the back and, and works its way up. So it's their relationship together is perfect. Like it just, it just it's seamless. Uh, so just the addition of that small blue stripe on the top of the white was a brilliant national. I really, really like that. It helped incorporate the logo uh, in the middle there and kind of bridge the gap from the red to the to the blue through the white. So I really like that. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, I, this is this is pretty great. I'm a big fan of this one. Number ten, the St. Louis Blues. This is pretty busy, but I kind of like the 
the two shades of blue here and the arms being totally different, it is, it, it's, it probably won't get a lot of love from from most of you. I Maybe I'll be in the mi minority here again as well. But I just liked it because it was, it was a, just a little bit different. The uh, the notes, not the notes. This is it called the staff in in the background used as striping, which is which is excellent. I really like that. The logo on the shoulder for the patch is, is great. Uh, yeah, I I like this one. Get into the top ten. Number nine, the San Jose Sharks. We're approaching belly top territory here with this one, but I, there's just something about this one. I think it's the orange stripe, that big thick orange stripe right covering the belly button down there. Um, I I don't know. I just like that more orange being utilized for San Jose with the teal. They just look so good together. Uh, maybe that's why I like the Stadium Series jersey so much from uh, the Reebok years, but yeah, I really like this. Number eight, the Dallas Stars. You got the Texas State flag represented back there on the collar. Uh, some hints of Minnesota North Stars in here, but uh, it's, listen, these colors are quite ugly. You've got baby poop green and and some baby poop yellow kind of mixed mixed in there with some actual green. It is not very attractive colors. However, I, I I think that's why I like it because it is kind of ugly and it, it feels very like early 80s, late, late 70s, something like that. So I like the nostalgia vibes of it. Number seven, the Chicago Blackhawks. Love seeing concepts and, and using black as a primary color. Nash North incorporated the city flag along the collar with that light blue and the stars in the background there. Uh, and then he's got the laces on the jersey being in different colors, orange, yellow, and green, which is awesome. And uh, logo in the front. Yeah, I really like this. Just a very simple jersey, but to me, it's it's very close to perfection. Number six, the Buffalo Sabres. And I'm probably going to get some hate from this. And no, that's okay. But it, kind of taking the air that most Buffalo fans don't like and modernizing it a little bit. It, it, it is odd to see Buffalo use black and red as, as and no blue and no yellow. But... To me, this is a very pretty jersey. Like, this is very nice. I like how subtle the shoulder patches are and that they're not a different color and that they kind of blend into the rest of the jersey. Most of you, or maybe not, maybe not most, some of you may think that, that the opposite of that and you, maybe you don't like that. But as a whole, uh, I really like this jersey. And yeah, there's a lot of red in the NHL, but if this works. Number five, the Boston Bruins. Not sure if I'm sold on the shoulder patch, However, the rest is, I think, perfection. I love seeing original six concepts, specifically Boston. Just totally keep it simple. Just use the B on the front, which they have used twice, or currently used twice, I guess, in the Winter Classic in their alternate. And just, you know, there's nothing else going on in this, in this jersey that's jumping out, you, jumping out at you. No crazy striping, just simple striping, simple colors. Uh, Two-tone jersey, basically. And yeah, simple, and it's awesome. Number four, the Ottawa Senators. This is, I would say, as good as their current jerseys or new ones, which are really growing on me. I, I am actually quite fond of them now. I wasn't at first. And they are really starting to grow on me. I like this concept just as much of, as those. I like that big swatch of color right there, holding the number, using the O, which is super classic, um, but, but black being the primary color, just like their new jerseys. Um, I... I'm not sure about the shoulder patches. They seem maybe a bit too big or a bit busy, uh, but I, I like this. I like this jersey. I like this a lot, actually. Number three, the Tampa Bay Lightning. And maybe simply for the fact that it's just totally different, and I want Tampa to change their jersey so bad. And Nash North has given us, uh, you could argue, maybe boring jersey, and very LA Kings black and the gray or the silver but using the life of the word lightning, like it's such an intimidating name, and why not utilize that intimidation factor? You could come up with something so unique, and Nash North has done this here. The arms are just, you know, this big giant lightning bolt down the arms. You could have that replicated again on the pants. I think just thinking about this jersey being used in a uniform, it would be awesome. Number two, the Nashville Predators. This is so close to perfect for a Nashville uh, concept that maybe I've ever seen. The shoulder patches, the angles maybe seem a little bit wrong, but the entire rest of the jersey to me is completely perfect. It feels very classic, almost collegiate or, or like college in a way. The, the logo on the front is is perfect. I really like that. 
it's you're mixing old with new. It reminds me of their Winter Classic a little bit. The striping is is awesome. The guitar strings, um, yeah. I'm I'm. This is probably one of the best Nashville concepts I've ever seen in my entire life. And number one, the Seattle Kraken. I mean. I th maybe it is just because I'm so excited for the Kraken to join the league that anytime I see a new concept, I'm like, holy crap, the Kraken are coming. Look at this jersey. This is awesome. But I think just in general, a lot of people will agree with me here. This is a nice jersey. Uh, the the anchor on top there with the shoulder patch, the logo in the middle, the striping is, is unique. The splasher right in there as well. It's balanced very well. It's a very well balanced jersey. I love it. I, I, I really, really like it. I love it. So thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, and remember, if you want to try your hand at 31 or 32 jerseys, you can go to sportstemplates.net. Use code post to post Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Wow.